It's difficult to overstate just how much has changed in the last 50 years. In the 1970s, if you had a complex mental health problem or a learning disability, you were often looking at a life spent in hospital. Guidepost was one of the first charities to challenge this. We started with housing, then we went on to establish some of the first day services in the UK. We've always been led by the conviction that no one should be excluded from the things that make life worth living. Whether that's making friends, forming relationships, finding out what you're good at, or belonging to a community. And our vision has always been that we can make that happen. We just have to provide the right support. That vision is very much alive in the charity today. My name is Carol. I've been coming to Henry Smith House for about three years now. I have a diagnosis of paranoid schizophrenia. Um, in 2018, I was signed off the mental health services to my GP. And then in 2019, I um, got cancer and um, I had a relapse, understandably. I was uh, referred to Henry Smith House and it has been so welcoming and so helpful to, to be here because mental illness is not something that can really be cured, you know. It's something you have to live with and manage and Henry Smith House has really helped me um, manage my, my symptoms. As you can imagine, I have uh, anxiety problems because, you know, there's always the fear of the cancer coming back. And um, I found the Pariyama breathing techniques, which Bina has taught us, are very helpful. And I do some breathing every day. The surgery for the cancer left me very debilitated down my left side because they cut the nerve to my shoulder. So I, I can't actually lift my, my arm up, but doing the yoga, I now have much more mo mobility in my left side. And it has been very, 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 very helpful. So Henry Smith House has five stars for me. My name is Rubina Shaheen and uh, I'm uh, coming to Henry Smith House a long time. Uh, I think uh, I'm uh, start in uh, 97, mm. 98. So 25 yeah. years ago? Yeah, long time. It's a lot struggling because I'm a single mother and uh, because my children are very small, I need a support and I'm a uh, nervous breakdown and mentally ill and uh, depression suffering. Uh, when I'm uh, suffering for this illness and especially our culture, community, people can't talk to me because he think she's mad. No friendship, even close friends is go far away from me. 
and then doctor sent me here. All the staff is very nice, very, very nice. When I'm here, is going out uh, uh, shopping, coffee, cup tea, and uh, any uh, artwork like drawing and sewing, <laughs> English uh, classes. It is uh, like uh, my family. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> When I was unwell, I thought I'd never get better. I never thought I would ever get better. Mm. I truly believe that when you're in that terrible place, when you're having a mental health problem, you need people to say, come on, you can do it, you can get through this, we'll help you. I'm Emma Hawkins. I'm Tilly Stokes's mum. She's 21 um, with a range of complex needs from learning disability, epilepsy, severe challenging behaviour, autism, um, global delay. Not a wheelchair need, but so many small needs that they all are very unique. Yeah. Tilly doesn't fit in any box. They haven't made a box for a Tilly yet, um, which is why we find everything such a challenge because you don't fit any of the criteria for any of the places. Everything has been a fight from day one. When we finally got here at 18, Tilly hadn't seen another person for two years because she'd spent all her college on her own with just helpers. You know, and she's social, she likes everybody else, she likes joining in with everybody else. Although they're very much here, she's able to join in as and when she can, or things, if things get too much, she leaves. And when she started, she was doing nothing with anybody else. And when she's just left, I would say she's doing 65 to 70% of her day with everybody else. Which is huge, yeah, yeah and amazing. <laughs> Future went sky high yeah. when I found this job. Me and Tony are like the most best friends I ever had. I'm happy, I'm strong, and I'm with good friends. And I'm very happy for 2023. I'm going to be the most popular guy to look after a guy first. And I'm very happy, mm. very, very happy. My name's David, David Daniels. We went to Campbell today. Are you a big fan of planes in general? I love them. I like going anything like that. I like to go into these places, missing place, where planes and old cars. I mean, to anything like that. Anything but fills up me. I enjoy coming here. Yeah. You get out and you you see you see things. We have a week with food is important to all of us. Not only are we just cooking, but we're building up a knowledge of, you know, a healthy balanced diet, which is so topical these days and everyone wants it. Yeah, I, I really enjoy when it all comes together. The 
then when it's time to eat, it's silence. And you know when you've got a good meal there because it's quiet. And everybody's quiet. And then as soon as the, the nice folks go down, the volume goes up. And everybody starts talking again. <laughs> it's crying. It really is. You see it go like that. I've been coming for a year for a long time now. I feel this, this place, better from going home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm managing managing well. I um I I have an anti-cancer diet, so I feel quite healthy. And the yoga, as I said, is, helps uh, me manage my anxieties. What I appreciate here is the friendliness and the kindness with which we are treated. I mean, I'm very grateful, more so grateful for Guidepost. Without them, I don't think I would have coped as long as I had. So yeah, they are everything. to say to you like that I'm the happiest person in this country who's got a real job I'm a gardener I'm a wood comforter mm. how cool is that to you so oh, what a problem all the problem gone it's gone, <laughs> gone. I'm happy now. <laughs>